All right, we're here with We Basketball. We got four all-time great players from two different dynasties. So we got Michael Jordan and Dennis Rodman from the late 90s Bulls, the three-peat, the second three-peat, if you will. And then we got Kobe and Shaq, who I believe won two finals together. So let's see how these guys do in a three-point competition. I think I'll click solo, because I'm going to play as all four of these guys. So we'll just add up. Who wins more, the Lakers or the Bulls? Let's find out. Starting off with the GOAT, MJ. Let's see. Of course, we're in training mode. That's nice. All right. Off to a decent start. We did miss one, but the money ball falls, and we end up with five. Now, I wish this fucking screen would go away, but... I'm doing so good on this round, I might just keep this. All right. We missed one on each, but neither of which were the money ball. So we're on a great trajectory for a good score for our boy, Michael Jordan. So let's see. Oh, man. That was rough. Oh, well. We're still alive. We're going to hopefully end up in the 20s somewhere. Now, I've never 30'd out in this one, so sorry about that. And also, none of these players were necessarily known for three-pointers, especially not fucking Shaq, but all right, Jordan ends with 20. I feel like that's probably what he'd do in real life, you know, in a three-point competition. If it was a uh, drive to the hoop and score on any given defender, Jordan would get it every time. I mean, come on. Sorry. All right. That one sucked, but I got interrupted there. So we'll see how we do. So far, Kobe's doing all right. Missed the money ball, and I also didn't grab that one. So we might not do as well for the Kobe star. I'm really pulling for Kobe to win, though, because he's dead. And, you know, we love that guy. Yeah. If I have to recommend one video to any of you, watch what Shaq has to say about Kobe's death. I think it was on a show, I think it was with Charles Barkley, it might've been their TNT show, but that shit made me cry when I saw that. It was just, he put everything so beautifully. Also, MJ, he did a speech, I believe it was the Kobe Memorial thing they did at in LA, and wow. That did the shame shit, because I watched that right after, so I cried even harder once Michael Jordan started speaking, but it was really Shaq that made me get it. And Kobe ties Jordan at 20, so we're doing all right. Now, Dennis Rodman, if you know anything about basketball, you know he was not known for his offensive abilities, but he was the greatest rebounder of all time, so hopefully he can get some of that magic in right here. Now... Dennis Rodman is my personal favorite basketball player of all time, but I'm a kind of a defensive fan. Like in football, my favorite player, surprisingly to a lot of people, is Troy Palomalu. I don't know, that whole Steelers team from back in, that, back in the day was really great, though. I mean, Roethlisberger, Heinz Ward, and of course, Troy Palomalu. No wonder they won a couple Super Bowls with those guys. But anyway, here we are at 12 after the third rack, which isn't too bad, honestly. This is my roughest rack usually, this fourth rack right here. And it's weird, it kind of correlates to how I am in real life, because I'm good at the key, and I'm good to the right of the key in real life, but I'm bad at the side shots, and I'm bad there to the left of the key. Now, I'm not a great basketball player though, so. And surprisingly, Dennis Rodman takes the lead with 2.5 seconds to go now. Shaquille O'Neal not only is not famous for his offensive ability um, in terms of shots, but he's known for his inability, especially at free throws. So we'll see if we can do something with Shaquille, though. And not looking too hot off the start. First two shots missed, first three shots, four shots, and finally we hit the money ball. So we're going to have to come back strong to beat Dennis Rodman, but if I get on a roll here, it could happen. And it looks like we're starting it off there. Nice. All right, eight shots, or eight points. 
And we keep going through this middle rack right here, doing doing well, we're on a roll. I think this is, if this goes in, 10 shots in a row. Nice, nice, we're at 14. Whoa. All right, we're looking hot. If we can clear this rack, we might hit my PR. My PR is 25 in this, I've never done a 30. I think I've said that already, but yeah, I've hit 25 before, so it's pretty good. All right, 22. So we got two 20s and two 22s, and it was the opposite players of whom you would have thought. Dennis Rodman and Shaq, of course, both taking 22 points, and Jordan and Kobe both taking 20. So that was our basketball experience with some of the greatest players of all time. Thanks for watching.